It all starts here. This is Roland Hagenberg in Paris. Controversial artist Jeff Koons raised some eyebrows when his exhibition opened last month at the Castle of Versailles. Balloons in a Baroque environment, a metal lobster next to Louis XIV's furniture, that's usually not what the French are exposed to. Koons became notoriously famous in the 80s for elevating kitsch to museum art and for his marriage to Italian porn star Cicciolino. This is the, uh, I did the Rolling Stones backdrop for their oh, tour yeah. that they're doing. Well, these yeah. go, the molds go to foundries uh -huh. where they're transformed into aluminum. Uh, the way these paintings are done, Roland, is they're elaborate, paint by numbers. So these colors are just for this area, Pat? Yeah. So just for this area right here. So how long does it right take in for here. one painting? Mm -hmm. It takes a long time. Uh, we've only done these five paintings in the last year. You are very relaxed uh, person, it seems. Um, are there moments of, of doubt and fear in the life of Jeff Koons? I never uh, feel insecurity about art. Mm -hmm. you know, there are other things that within the personal life, I mean, I've had a, a terrible situation involving my son. My mm. son was yeah. abducted, taken to Italy. So over the years, I really have had to always worry about my son. Mm. To, uh, try he hasn't to, come back yet. Uh, we've dealt with terrible injustice in Italy. Worrying about his situation causes uh, anxiety. Yeah, of course. Uh, you know, my life is it's uh, fantastic. Uh, it's calming. I just have to, you know, put on a pair of jeans and uh, put my sneakers on, and you know, I go to work, and then I come uh -huh. with my family, uh, and uh, uh, we do the, you know, the same thing the next day. Uh, and so I can come here and focus on what I enjoy focusing on. And uh, this is just a pile of different inflatables. Some of these I built when I showed you the mustache. We actually molded this one. Where, where is the starting point with these pieces? I always was making things that look like they are ready-mades, that mm -hmm. they exist in the world, but I hadn't uh, actually remolded something. Mm -hmm. I, take, I never would take anything like this object yeah. and make a mold on it for over uh, like 17 years. So mm. uh, it really just comes from listening to what I'd like to do. I like the sexuality of this. Uh -huh. This seems like sexuality mm. before birth. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. You know, it's... Uh, sexuality before birth. Before birth, yeah. where it's yeah. undefined. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's yeah. still like everybody uh -huh. has that little uh, mark running through the center of their uh -huh. body, which is just, uh -huh. it gives you your... Uh, Symmetry, uh -huh. and, but no uh -huh. definition of sex. Right. And I really see yeah, this because yeah, the yeah. mustache is a very uh, masculine uh -huh. symbol, one of the few symbols that men have for right. masculinity. When was that moment where you consciously, for you, discovered you are an artist? From the time I was a child, my parents were always very supportive. My father had a furniture store. This is an image of oh. his window, of uh, the showroom window. So from the time I was a kid, I would uh, display. Uh, artworks here. These are not mine, uh -huh. but uh, this is where my dad used to put uh, my artworks. And my dad was so supportive that even when I was, uh -huh. you know, nine years old, he was uh, uh, selling my uh, paintings and uh -huh. drawings. And you don't seem to be a, a man who cares about politics in the art, uh, at least to the outside. But uh, it, it's still part of business, of course, too. But. You are lucky enough in your position probably to keep yourself out of uh, politics. Right. Uh, I mean, I have always tried to be at the service of my work. Mm. So I try to do things that aren't uh, harmful uh, to my work. Uh. But uh, the main thing is to communicate through your work. And if you're doing oh, work yeah. that people uh. have interest uh. in, uh, then there's opportunity. So I've always Wait. preferred to uh, put Keep. my time into the work. And, and leave uh, it up to... Yeah. No. If there's a social aspect to it, to let my dealers do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Interest them, try to work. Wh which piece are the, you the most proudest of?